Howdy, this is Dave. Channel's TXW5CSM. This is a follow-up video to the one that I did on the ICOM 7000 menu settings for the turbo tuner and the ICOM radio uh, digital mode in the shack. Not going to focus on the radio much. We're going to go through some software fixes. So the problem that I had was even after going through all those menu settings that the previous video takes you through, I had a COM port conflict. So my COM ports, which was set to number five, this is the uh, DigiPan software that I use for PSK communication, and it used COM port number five. And my rig control, which was in the N3 FJP's AC log running version 4.6, so if you have the old stuff, I suggest you upgrade. Uh, using this. So the issue was I, I would open one, I would open the other, they both run on different cables. What's the stinking problem? The problem was that the rig blaster plug and play was assigned to the same COM port. In my case it was all assigned to COM port number five. So enter uh, West Mountain Radio's device diagnostic utility. This is downloadable from the website for free and what you can do is once you pull it up, in my case it was COM port number 5, Rig Blaster Plug and Play, if you right click on it and you go to change port number, you can reassign ports based on functions within the West Mountain Plug and Play. So, what I did was I assigned COM port 7 to the West Mountain, excuse me, West Mountain Radio uh, push to talk control which controls the PSK31 function in this, the DigiPan software, and I assigned the radio control, which it, most folks refer to as rig control, to COM port number six. So I'll take you through the software real quick if you're running similar software and how to configure it. In the DigiPan you go to configure and then you will go down to serial port. When you hit your pull down menu here you'll go to the appropriate serial port. In my case I assigned it as number seven you're using the CI-V interface and the one that works for me is uh, position number 10 IC275 baud rate 1200 so that is all set I'm going to run a quick test right now I am into the dummy load okay functioning perfectly as designed. I got the out, outbound tone, I got the RF indicator run to the dummy load through the uh, tuner, so the DigiPan software is all set, so we're going to minimize that. We will now go to the N3FJP AC log software, again version 4.6. If you go to settings and drop down to rig interface, again these settings are for the ICOM 7000 and you're using the CI-V uh, interface for your rig control. If you go to the left, put an ICOM. Again, I assign COM port 6 to it. Uh, this is on the N3 FJP website, but uh, you're here, so I'll give it to you anyway. Baud rate 1.2, parity none, data bits 8, stop bits 1, connection power is DTR, Radio polling rate is two seconds. I haven't played with that any, so you might be able to do it faster, but two seconds works for me. Uh, mode determined by rig. Use frequency on main form is checked, everything else unchecked. Now the command, uh, the command to read frequency and the command to read mode for the ICOM 7000, you have to change these two characters. So it's Foxtrot Echo, Foxtrot Echo 70 are the changed ones, Echo 0, 0, 03, Foxtrot Delta, for your interface, as long as your radio, the, uh, the CIV address is set to 70H, as I just uh, explained in the earlier video. So your command to read mode, if required, which I like, is Foxtrot Echo, Foxtrot Echo, 70, again that 70 are the two characters that you change, Echo 0, 0, 04, Foxtrot Delta. So you can see I run the test. Okay, it's, it's running anyway. 
waiting response. Now I've got the frequency that my radio is set to because I'm set to run PSK31 and 14.07. And we've pulled into the sideband mode because that's what I set up because we're getting ready to run PSK31. Everything else down here, don't have to worry about. If you want to double check your ability to send uh, frequencies into the radio, you can go ahead and check that. But I found that if everything is pulling properly, everything's functioning properly, you hit done down at the bottom of the screen and you are set. I'm going to go ahead and change the radio to 14.075 and you should notice here in a moment, there you go, 14.075. Back to 14.070 and 321, there you go, 14.070. So if you have any questions, please drop me a note, and I will try to coach you through this as much as I can. Again, my configuration mobile is a turbo, turn, turbo tuner for ICOM, not the ICOM 7000, even though I'm running the ICOM 7000. My configuration in the shack is running ICOM 7000 with AC Log 4.6 for my logging software. I am now running, and thank God I found it, the West Mountain Radio Digital, or excuse me, Device Diagnostic Utility and for software for digital modes right now I'm running the DigiPan software. So remember knowledge is only power when it's shared. Thank you very much for watching.